In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a point table for the geometry points for your alignment. Now, if you look at your points, all the points that have come through, for the ones that have come through for your alignment, specifically for the geometry here, we're going to list those in a table. So the first thing we need to do is create a point group for those. So I've highlighted the first one so you can see that the first one that comes through is point number 20. So 20 through actually 26, we're going to ignore 27. Those are the points we want in our point group. So we're going to create a new point group under the Prospector tab. We'll come to Point Groups, create a new one. Here we can set the name. For these we're going to call it Alignment Geometry. <clears throat> We're going to change this to northing and easting, so we're just going to be doing the northing and easting for the point label style there. And then uh, point style will be basic at this point. Now we're going to include, we said points 20 through 26. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Looks like I spelled alignment wrong. However, you can see that under the alignment geometry, we got these points to come through. So this is Currently the points listed there, again in order to set a uh, table for this we're actually going to go to our layout. <coughs> in this case we will be placing it in a layout with other um, items. You will be for yours placing this in a layout all by itself. And we're going to hit annotate, add tables, and we're going to add a point table. Now we're going to select our point groups, which is our alignment geometry. We're going to hit OK. And for the selection of the label style, we're going to hit northing and easting here. All we need is northing and easting for that. We will go ahead and uh, hit OK at this point. It's going to ask us where we want to place that. We'll place it right here. It's going to bring that table in to this drawing. So we'll go ahead and just a little bit further so you guys can see it. If I go ahead and zoom in, you can see that this the point number comes in as well as the northern and easting of each of those. <clears throat> then we can reference what point it is and know which station it is along that item there. So this will allow us to create that point item uh, for your um, point table in sheet number three.